Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if I'll ever post this video. I don't know. It's like a weird topic. So, as I've like mentioned in some of my other videos, like, I have a brain injury. So, I was hit in the head with a baseball bat at a spring training game in Arizona. It was a Cubs game and the bat just like flew into the stands and hit me and I thought I was okay. I I didn't get knocked out or anything. It just like hit me and I turned to my friend and I'm like that just hit me. What the hell? And uh, she's like yeah I saw. Are you okay? And I'm like yep. And then the guy behind me it like landed in his lap perfectly because like it bounced off my head. So he like kept the bat, it was fine, and uh, like no one came to see if anyone was okay. So I was just like sitting there. And then all of a sudden, um, or I guess like after time went by, I like stopped, I didn't know where I was anymore. And my friend's like, okay, I think we should go to the EMTs now. So I went to the EMTs and they actually thought I was drunk. They like didn't believe a bat, flew into the stands. And they're like, no, we don't think this happened. Like, you were probably sitting in the sun. I'm like, no, my seats are in the shade. A bat definitely flew into the stands. Like, I'm not lying. So a bat, so then more EMTs came in and a bat, like, oh, they're like, oh, yeah, we saw that bat go into the stands. But, like, we don't know, like, what happened to the people. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was me. And they're like, oh, okay. And then, like, they started paying more attention to me. And I guess I had this, like, huge bump on the back of my head. And they're like okay, well, do you want to go to the hospital? You don't seem like you need to go, but do you just want to go home? And I said, no, I'll just go home. Um, they won't let my friend drive me home because she had, like, a beer. And uh, so my parents had to come pick me up. And I felt okay. I just had, like, a little headache. I was like, whatever. I probably have, like, a concussion or something. Like, a bat just hit me. It's chill. And then, so I was at U of A. It was my sophomore year yeah it must have been my sophomore year at the time because it's two years ago so two years ago um and then like two weeks after it happened I like continued on with my normal life and then two weeks after the incident I like woke up and I was like couldn't stop throwing up and I had a super bad headache and my mom's like well maybe you should go to like urgent care so I went to urgent care and they said, well, you need to go to the EMT or you need to go to the hospital. Make sure you don't have a, uh, like a brain bleed or something like that. So I went there. I didn't have anything like my CAT scan was fine. And we thought, okay, it's just like side effects from the concussion, whatever. I'll be fine. Like, now, two years later, I'm still having, like, all this side effects kind of thing. So, I was in and out of the hospital for, like, every two weeks. I would just get this super bad nausea, and I couldn't stop, like, throwing up. I, I get really bad headaches, and I actually had to leave school my junior year and move back home with my parents just because I couldn't deal with school and, like, my like my head it was just like too much pain too much doctors too much situation and uh it was just like a hard time in my life I'm like I don't know what to do kind of situation so eventually we found like a good team of doctors and uh so out during that year I like started getting all these surgeries kind of thing and I started going getting uh like trigger point injections I had like a neurologist I had a chiropractor I had all these people just like trying to be on my team and trying to fix me and then um I like decided I had to go back to school um this year or I would have to reapply uh, to the U of A, but I knew my GPA wasn't good enough to reapply just because I had not done well the previous semester, clearly. Like, I was barely in school the previous semester just because I was, like, always in the hospital. Like, 
that was just not a good time. So, um, I, uh, I'd like told my doctors, I'm like, we need to get me better enough to go to school. And, uh, so I like put, I decided this like in May and I had to go back into school in August. So we like pushed through hardcore during those like last two months. And then, uh, I went back to, I like threw a big party with all my doctors and we like got through those last two months and uh, I got, went back to school in August but still I like I still had headaches every day I was still I was still sick like yeah I was still sick I'm still sick and uh I had still had to go back to Phoenix every so Phoenix is two hours away from Tucson so I had to go back every week to still just keep up with my doctors I still had to get like all these different procedures done. They have to go in and burn the nerves. Like they've done my neck, they do my face, just to like help me not feel as much pain. So I was still doing that every like week. And so like doing that in school was just a lot. It was, now that I think about it, I'm like, how did I go through all that? And like after I dropped kind of dropped out my junior year I was like I'm never gonna be able to graduate again like I'm never gonna go back to school like I just worked so hard my last two years and I'm never gonna be able to go back to school and now I'm sitting here like I'm gonna graduate tomorrow from college like in no way was my GPA stellar this year it was it was trash but at least I like did it. I got through it. So I guess if I do post post this video, like I don't know, push through if you're going through a really hard time. Cause life can really suck sometimes. So you just gotta do it. That's what I had to do, and just stay positive. Like I stayed. Like it was so hard to stay positive the whole time. But that's, I just, like, had to. Because if you start going into that negative mindset, like, you're never going to get out of it. So I'm just like, I have to get through this next doctor's appointment. I have to get through this test. Like, I have to get through everything. Like, I just took it one step at a time. Because if you, like, think about how much you, like, have to do, it just gets overwhelming. And, like, you definitely go through periods of, like, oh, my God. Like, I'm never going to get through this. But... You just have to face it. So I would just like take it step by step. Like I had a great support system, like great support system. Like my doctors are my best friends, my boyfriend. I don't know what I would have done without him. My parents, it's, it's hard going through shit. It really is, but like, yeah, baseball bats fuck them <laughs> but it's crazy like I never thought I would graduate college and now I'm I'm gonna graduate college tomorrow so if you are going through a really rough time I feel you it's hard but just take it one step at a time and I love you